Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. Thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of St. Aloysius Gonzaga. And in this Mass, let us pray that like him, we too may be faithful followers of Jesus. Let us now prepare ourselves to celebrate the mysteries of God's love. Let us ask God's forgiveness for all our sins, and let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, 
you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, giver of heavenly gifts, who in St. Aloysius Gonzaga joined penitence to a wonderful innocence of life, grant through his merits and intercession that though we have failed to follow him in innocence, we may imitate him in penitence. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second book of Kings. Sennacherib, king of Assyria, sent envoys to Hezekiah with this message. Thus shall you say to Hezekiah, king of Judah, do not let your God on whom you rely deceive you by saying that Jerusalem will not be handed over to the king of Assyria. You have heard what the kings of Assyria have done to all other countries. They doomed them. Will you then be saved? Ezekiel took the letter from the hand of the messengers and read it. Then he went up to the temple of the Lord, and spreading it out before him, he prayed in the Lord's presence, O Lord, God of Israel, enthroned upon the cherubim, you alone are God over all the kingdoms of the earth. You have made the heavens and the earth. Incline your ear, O Lord, and listen. Open your eyes, O Lord, and see. Hear the words of Sennacherib, which he sent to taunt the living God. Truly, O Lord, the kings of Assyria have laid waste the nations and their lands and cast their gods into the fire. They destroyed them because they were not gods, but the work of human hands, wood and stone. Therefore, O Lord, our God, save us from the power of this man, that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that you alone, O Lord, are God. Then Isaiah, son of Amos, sent this message to Hezekiah. Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, in answer to your prayer for help against Sennacherib, king of Assyria, I have listened. This is the word the Lord has spoken concerning him. She despises you, loves you to scorn, the virgin daughter Zion. Behind you she wags her head, daughter Jerusalem. For out of Jerusalem shall come remnant, and from Mount Zion survivors. The zeal of the Lord of hosts shall do this. Therefore, says the Lord, Concerning the king of Assyria, he shall not reach this city, nor shoot an arrow at it, nor come before it with a shield, nor cast up siege works against it. He shall return by the same way he came, without entering the city, says the Lord. I will shield and save this city for my own sake, and for the sake of my servant David. That night, the angel of the Lord went forth and struck down 185,000 men in the Assyrian camp. So Sennacherib 
king of Assyria, broke camp and went back home to Nineveh. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God upholds his city forever. God upholds his city forever. Great is the Lord and holy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain, fairest of heights, is the joy of all the earth. God upholds his city forever. Mount Zion, the recesses of the north, is the city of the great king. God is with her castles. Renowned is she a stronghold. God upholds his city forever. O God, we ponder your mercy within your temple. As your name, O God, so also your praise reaches to the ends of the earth. Of justice, your right hand is full. God upholds his city forever. Please stand. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not give what is holy to dogs, or throw your pearls before swine, lest they trample them underfoot and turn and tear you to pieces. Do to others whatever you would have them do to you. This is the law and the prophets. Enter through the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the road broad that leads to destruction, and those who enter through it are many. How narrow the gate and constricted the road that leads to life, and those who find it are few. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, in our Gospel today, Jesus tells us, enter through the narrow gate. Because the gate towards destruction is wide and the road is broad. But the gate that leads to life is narrow. The road that leads to life is constricted. This is a very timely reminder for all of us. Jesus tells us today that what is easy is not always good, and what is difficult is not always bad. We have the tendency to always choose what is easy over what is difficult. 
we always have the tendency to choose what is wide than what is narrow. Sino ba naman ang pipili ng mahirap kung meron namang madali? Sino naman ang pipili ng makitid na daan kung meron namang malawak? Pero ang paalala sa atin ni Jesus, hindi lahat ng madali ay mabuti at hindi lahat ng mahirap ay masama. Choose the narrow gate because it leads to life. Sabi ni Jesus, yung daan patungo sa kapahamakan, napakalawak, kaya ang daming naaakit na pumunta at pumasok dito. Pero ang daan patungo sa tunay na buhay ay napakakitid, kaya iilan lamang ang tumatahak sa landas na ito. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we are given many examples of people who chose the narrow gate that leads to life over the wide gate that leads to destruction. In our first reading today, we heard how King Hezekiah of Judah responded to the threat of the Assyrian king Sennacherib. Aatakihin ng hari ng Assyria ang Huda. And so King Hezekiah has an option, an easier option, and that is to simply surrender and give up the kingdom to this more powerful king. But King Hezekiah chose the narrow gate. He turned to God in prayer. He asked God's help in order to defend his kingdom. And because of this, God acted upon the request of King Hezekiah. God sent the angel in order to strike the Assyrian army. 185,000 men of the Assyrian army died, even without the people of Judah defending themselves. Today, we also celebrate the memorial of St. Aloysius Gonzaga, who was born in the 16th century in Italy, and he came from a royal, a rich family. But even at an early age, Aloysius decided to give up the riches of his family and live a life of penitence. He could have lived in comfort, but he chose the difficult way, the narrow way of following the Lord. He entered the Society of Jesus, and when a plague struck Rome, he served those who were sick until he himself got ill and died at a very young age of 23 years old. He chose the narrow gate that leads to God's kingdom. Today, we also remember our, one of our former archbishops, Cardinal Jaime Sin, as we commemorate today his death anniversary. And for many of us who still know and remember the story of Cardinal Sin, we would remember how he became an important part of the freedom of our nation from dictatorship. He could have preserved himself 
by not involving in politics. He could have just kept quiet, but he chose the narrow way that leads to, to life. He chose the way, the difficult way of peace. Today is also the birthday of Cardinal Chito Tagle, who now is working at the Vatican. He also chose an, a difficult path. He could have just stayed here in the Philippines, close to his family, close to people he knew and loved. But there is a different mission for him. He was called to a different mission, though it was difficult. And I tell you, I personally witnessed how difficult it was for him to choose this narrow way. But because this is what the Lord wants, he courageously and wholeheartedly took this difficult path, a path that leads to life. My dear brothers and sisters, every day in our life, we are presented with two paths, the difficult path and the easy path. We are presented with two gates, the narrow gate or the wide gate. Jesus took the narrow gate, the difficult path of the cross. And because of that, we are saved. Let us not be afraid of treading the difficult path, the narrow gate, because it is the path and the way that leads to life, the path and the gate that leads to God's kingdom. Please stand. Christ promises that the narrow gate leads to life. Let us come to our Heavenly Father with the trust and confidence of the prayer our Lord taught us. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the church may guide the flock to the door that leads to life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That as a community, we may treat one another with respect, consideration, and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may carry our God's will by our compassionate dealings with others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick and those suffering from various illnesses may find strength and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may be raised with Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, let us pray for our personal petitions. Let us remember the people who need our prayers. Let us also pray for Cardinal Chito Tagle so that he may be strengthened in his mission. Let us also pray for the eternal repose of Cardinal Jaime Sin. And let us also pray for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, create within us sincerity of heart so that we may love and respect others as you treasure them. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Grant us, O Lord, that by the example of St. Aloysius, we may take our place at the heavenly banquet, clothed always in our wedding garment, so that by participation in this mystery, we may possess the riches of your grace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of example, you offer us an ex by their way of life, you offer us an, an, an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and archangels and with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, 
welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Aloysius, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Bring us who have been fed with the food of angels, O Lord, to serve you in purity of life, and following the example of St. Aloysius, whom we honor today, may we persevere in constant thanksgiving through Christ our Lord. Amen. After the Mass, we shall offer prayers at the tomb of Cardinal Sin, who is buried at the crypt of the Banila Cathedral. We invite you to join in our prayers by staying at your places and join us through our monitors. We also invite those joining the live streaming of this Mass to stay for the prayers uh, for our beloved Cardinal Sin. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, who raised Jesus from the dead, be with you always. And with your spirit. We gather today to pray for Jaime, whose body lies here in rest. He has passed from death to life in company with the Lord Jesus, who died and rose to new life, and is purified now of his faults. We pray that God may welcome him among all the saints of heaven. Let your response be, To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. In you I trust, let me not be put to shame. Let not my enemies exult over me. No one who waits for you shall be put to shame. Those shall be put to shame who heedlessly break faith. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God my Savior, and for you I wait all the day. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your kindness are from of old. The sins of my youth and my frailties remember not. In your kindness, remember me because of your goodness, O Lord. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice. He teaches the humble his way. 
To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. All the paths of the Lord are kindness and constancy toward those who keep his covenant and his decrees. For your name's sake, O Lord, you will pardon my guilt, great as it is. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. Let us pray. All-powerful God, whose mercy is never withheld from those who call upon you in hope, look kindly on your servant Jaime, who departed this life confessing your name, and number him among your saints forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto Jaime, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Let us entrust our dear cardinal sin to the maternal intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour, hour of our, our death. death. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God.